In this video, I will solve your doubts about how to use MSI Afterburner on Intel HD graphics and whether or not it is possible to do this. As you might be aware, MSI Afterburner is a tool that allows you to take control of various different parts of your hardware, and it is primarily used for overclocking your GPU, CPU, which essentially gives you more FPS, you put more stress on your hardware, but like I said, it will give you better performance in game. You can use different functions like the on-screen display to monitor how your GPU, your CPU is doing, and it is overall an incredible tool to have for a PC gamer. Now, you might be curious if it is possible to use MSI Afterburner on Intel Integrated Graphics, also known as Intel HD Graphics. Well, you are free to download MSI Afterburner from the official website, so go to msi.com, look through their software, and you will find Afterburner. Now, because MSI Afterburner is primarily designed for discrete graphics cards or dedicated graphics cards like the GeForce series from NVIDIA or the Radeon GPUs from AMD, and they offer extensive features for overclocking, undervolting, and monitoring them, you won't find much support for integrated graphics. Usually, they will be detected, so you can clearly notice in this example that in Intel, UHD graphics are appearing, but all of the sliders are blanked out. You won't even see a value at the right. So as it stands today, can you do anything to change this? Well, sadly, the answer to the question in the title of this video is that if you open MSI Afterburner and all of the readings, all of the options are blank, there is nothing that you can do. However, if some of them are available, then in theory, you could use MSI Afterburner with your particular set of integrated GPU. However, like I said before, most integrated graphics cards will not have any form of support for MSI Afterburner. You can still use it to monitor your things. So if you head over into the settings, you will find the OSD category, which is on-screen display, alongside the monitoring options. And you can enable the monitoring of temperatures, frame rate, frame times, and plenty of other things. But actually, overclocking or undervolting is not an option for integrated graphics. The purpose of this video is not to spread misinformation, but to let people be aware about the limitations of MSI Afterburner when used in conjunction with integrated graphics. If this video cleared up any questions that you had on how to use MSI Afterburner on Intel HD graphics, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.